This is like AuraCast without having AuraCast yet. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you a hearing aid hack that will give you AuraCast-like audio when you go into a public venue, even if your hearing aids don't have LE Audio Bluetooth. So there's been a lot of advancements in hearing aid technology over just the past two to three years. Perhaps none of them being more exciting than the development and release of Bluetooth LE Audio. Now, if you have not yet heard of Bluetooth LE Audio, then I highly recommend you check out this video that I will have linked in the description because it will absolutely blow your mind. To give you an idea of what this Bluetooth will be capable of, it's going to allow you to do several things. This includes improve the sound quality of streamed audio, improve hearing aid battery life when streaming, improve universal connectivity with other Bluetooth devices, allow you to share your Bluetooth connection with other people, and give you access to something called AuraCast Broadcast Audio. AuraCast Broadcast Audio is a new feature that will allow public venues like concert halls, movie theaters, live performance theaters, sports stadiums, and churches to broadcast the audio of that venue directly into your hearing aids, earbuds, or headphones. Not only will this greatly benefit the hearing loss community, but it will also have a positive impact on anybody who wants better access to audio in these public venues. There's just one major problem here. Even though we have several hearing aid brands on the market currently that have Bluetooth LE audio, we're talking Oticon, we're talking Resound, and we're talking Signia, there are no public venues to my knowledge at this point that actually has AuraCast broadcast audio, so even if you're equipped with it, you can't use it. Essentially, you're just going to have to wait for these public venues to get an LE audio Bluetooth transmitter so you can tap into the audio at these venues. But what if you could do something in the meantime that could give you kind of the same experience even if they don't have AuraCast up and running yet? That is what I'm going to tell you in this video, but before I do, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out the channel because it gets these videos in front of a bigger audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because then you will get a notification every single time I publish a new video, and I'm talking about all this new cool technology all the time. That being said, let's take a look at the way to tap into this audio at a public venue. You may or may not be aware that there is a feature called a telecoil inside of hearing aids. It's basically a coil of copper wire inside of a hearing aid that will give you access to an electromagnetic signal that is put out by a hearing loop that is installed inside of some public venues. That loop is then connected to the soundboard of that venue so they can feed audio through the loop and then you can tap into that audio using your telecoil. In fact, when I designed my clinic, I had OtoJoy come out and install a hearing loop inside of my waiting room and my three treatment rooms so my patients could experience the sound quality of having that audio directly streamed into their hearing aids. Now a telecoil is a feature that is optional inside of hearing aids, so your hearing aids may not actually have a telecoil inside of them. But if you do have a telecoil inside of your hearing aids, there is actually a way to unlock an AuraCast-like feature even if the public venue does not have a hearing loop installed. All you have to do is use a simple little hack, and that hack that I'm talking about is a telecoil neck loop. All right, let me explain how this actually works. So most public venues across the United States have to comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act, which means that they have to give you access to the audio of their venue if you have hearing loss. Now, one of the cheapest ways for these venues to comply with this is to give you something like this. Basically, they have this little receiver box and a pair of headphones. And so you can actually receive an audio signal that is being transmitted to this receiver box, and then you put the headphones on and you basically turn it on and turn up the volume. Now imagine that you're in a movie theater and you need to essentially wear this around your neck, like so, and you need to put the headphones on. Well, if you have a hearing loss and your hearing loss is anything other than a flat hearing loss, this probably isn't going to help you very much. I mean, essentially all you're doing is making the volume of the movie theater louder and who needs a louder movie theater? However, if you have a telecoil neck loop like this one from William Sound that you can purchase on Amazon for 50 bucks, I will have that linked down in the description. This is the one that I use all the time to test hearing aid telecoils uh, and it works really well. But if you have one of these, you can essentially ditch the headphones, unplug them, 
like so. You take your telecoil neck loop, you loop this around your neck, and then you end up plugging this in to the receiver box. Now, you're essentially converting that audio signal into an electromagnetic signal that can be picked up by the telecoil inside of your hearing aids. And all you have to do is activate the telecoil either with your push button or go into your app on your smartphone. As long as your hearing aids have a telecoil inside of them and that telecoil has been set up and programmed by your hearing care professional, you can go into a lot of different public venues, get something like this and actually use your telecoil. Yeah, it's like having AuraCast right now because you're pulling the audio directly from that public venue wherever you're at and you're putting it directly into your hearing aids. And since your hearing aids are programmed for your hearing loss, the audio quality of that will be much better than if you just try to increase the volume of everything. Eventually, I do expect Bluetooth LE audio and AuraCast broadcast audio to completely take over accessibility inside of the United States and then using things like this will become a thing of the past. But in the meantime, if you want something that's kind of like AuraCast and you have hearing aids that have a telecoil inside of them, you can do something like this using a telecoil neck loop to gain AuraCast-like functionality right now.